can only show you the door. You have to walk through it. Hello guys, welcome to Mr. Legend Crypto. Guys, in this video, we're taking a look at an altcoin XRP. XRP over the last one month has dumped by 6.8%. XRP is down 10.3% over the last one week. And the last one day has seen a 12.6 decline in the price of XRP. So why is the price of XRP down? Should we expect it to continue dumping to Goblin Town? Or is this the final dip before that epic, epic pump we have been waiting for? We take a look at new stories going around the XRP ecosystem. The SEC files an appeal in the Ripple lawsuit and Bitwise files from S1 for an XRP ETF. How will all that align with all season and how high can XRP go in the coming days and the coming weeks? Let's get down to business. XRP currently trades around the $0.52 level, guys. XRP in the 2021 bull market got to as high as $1.9. But since then, XRP has dumped to Goblin Town, even getting to as low as $0.28. Right now, XRP trades around $0.53. XRP has been trading around its 200-week moving average for quite a while right now. Since that bear market started in 2022, XRP has been hovering around its 200-day moving average. We've seen some pumps above it. We've seen some dumps below it. The highest XRP has gone since when we went below it in 2022 has been the $0.93 level where XRP got to in July of 2023. Since then, XRP has slowly grinded to Goblin Town. Since then, we've seen XRP dump. But guys, the last few days has seen renewed optimism return back to the cryptocurrency market. We saw XRP pumping. We saw all coins pumping. We saw XRP go from the $0.38 level where it was trading in July of 2024, getting to as high as $0.66, rising by 74% in the last 84 days. So why are we seeing this huge, huge red candle on the weekly time frame? It might all lead to the SAP, the S SEC filing appeal in the Ripple lawsuit. The Security and Exchange Commission first filed the lawsuit against Ripple Labs and its founders in December of 2020. The US SEC filed a notice of appeal in the Ripple lawsuit on October 2, seeking to overturn a ruling by Judge Annalise Torres. This is very, very interesting. The SEC has come against Ripple for the last four years. Hopefully, they win this again. They won the case, but the SEC is appealing the ruling the SEC's enforcement chief steps down. Maybe he was not in, in line with this whole new appealing the ruling stuff. On the same day, the SEC filed his notice to appeal in the Ripple lawsuit. The agency announced that its chief enforcement officer, Gurbin Garber, will step down on October 11. That's interesting to see. More good news in the XRP ecosystem is that Bidwires files first form S1 for XRP ETF with the US SEC. Subject to approval from the SEC, the Bidwire Spot XRP ETF will provide exposure to the value of XRP held directly by the trust. In the Twitter account they wrote, Today we filed an initial, initial registration statement on Form S1 for a new Bitwise XRP ETP. We believe blockchains will usher in new uh, political monetary asset and permissionless application for the 21st century, says Bitwise CEO Hunter Hursley. All coin season is still around the corner, guys. We're waiting for all coin season. All coin season is when all coins will pump aggressively to the moon. If you're holding on XRP, you are probably seeing October season. You have probably seen all coin season in 2021 where XRP got to as high as $1.9. In 2017, we saw all coin season where XRP rally up even to as high as $3.2. And those also all coin season rallies, guys, they can come very, very quickly. They can come very, very swift. We can see all, the all coin market having huge, huge pumps on a daily, on a weekly time frame. And for that to happen, Bitcoin dominance might be dumping to Goblin Town. And I'll be shocked to see Bitcoin dominance heading back to that 48% region. If we see that happening, we see XRP heading towards $1, that might be a telltale sign that we're in alt season. But right now, we're not yet in alt season. Right now, we're heading towards alt season. Right now, all coins are showing signs of life on a monthly time frame. Hopefully, XRP will join in that party very, very soon. Well, XRP over the last one month has lost 6.9% of its value. And the last 24 hours, we are seeing double digit loss against XRP. History has shown us over time that anytime the SEC files a lawsuit like this against a crypto project or a crypto company, it has always been a good time to buy. We saw it when they filed against Uniswap, when they filed against XRP, when they filed all the lawsuits I've seen in crypto markets that SEC has filed against any project or any company has been a good buying opportunity. It has most times signified the bottom. And right now, XRP is among the biggest losers on the day. I will not be shocked if this trend is reversed in the coming days and coming weeks where XRP will be among the 
biggest gainers. We saw XRP being among the biggest gainers just over the weekend. The market was down, XRP was pumping. Right now, XRP amongst the biggest losers. Currently trading at the 0.5 to dollar level. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. How high do you think XRP can go in the coming days and coming weeks if we get all season coming around the cryptocurrency market? If Bidwise, for some weird reasons, get their ETP approved by the SEC and we see XRP joining Bitcoin and Ethereum having an ETF, how high can XRP go in that hypothetical situation? I don't think we we'll still set new all time highs. Long term, I'm bearish on XRP, guys. Long term, I think we we'll see XRP trading at 10 cents before we we'll see it trading above $2. I might be hyper bearish, but generally in the cryptocurrency market, I think we're due a big dump to gobbling town. I think Bitcoin is going to $10,000. I think Ethereum is going below $1,000. I think XRP and other altcoins are going to see huge, huge decline in Q4 and in 2025. I might be wrong, but I'm waiting for that final pump before the dump. And right now, I think we're at the last dip before that pump. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comment section. How high do you see XRP going when all this clears off? Do you think we're going to go above $2 in 2024? Do you think we're dumping to Goblin Town in 2025? Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome videos like this. Turn on the post notification to get notified anytime I drop a new video and anytime I go live. Remember guys, when it comes to investing, nothing will pay off when you're educating yourself. An investment in knowledge pays the best interest. You invest for the long haul, don't get too scared. Don't get too greedy. See you guys in my next video. Remember, all I'm offering is the truth, nothing more.